Work on the new stadium, Everton Stadium, continues uh, the latest being work done to finalise the pitch. There is a layer of sand being edited, uh, edited, added rather, to build up the playing surfaces. Uh, the final checks and touches also being made to the 52,888 capacity because numbers are now being added onto the seats as well. They're the two updates from the new stadium. You can see there's some great pictures of the, uh, the stadium with the, the preparation going on for the pitch. The layers are being built up, built up over a bit of time, and now that sand uh, level has been put on. Before long, we will see the green of the grass, which will make it look even more sensational than it does now. You're starting to see it. It really has taken shape. But I think once the grass is there, once you can see the pitch, it brings it all to life again, doesn't it? And then seeing the seat numbers being put on the seats today, just that reminder that it is moving closer and closer to the day that we leave Goodison Park for the new stadium. Hopefully, we leave the curse behind as well, which seems to have engulfed us in the last few years. Illiman and Jai is up for nomination for goal of the round in the League Cup. Uh, he scored Evans' second goal in the 3-0 win against Doncaster Rovers. Brilliant individual goal. Well, that has been nominated for one of the best goals of the round. Uh, the next round against Southampton. And that game takes place on Tuesday, the 17th of September, with a 7.45 kickoff. Uh, tickets go on sale tomorrow to season ticket holders from 10 o'clock. I think you've got till Monday to secure your own seat for the Southampton game. Francis Onkaronko scored on his lone debut last night for Salford City as they beat MK Dons 1-0 at the Peninsula Stadium. It was a well-taken goal, good little individual goal. It took it on, beat a couple of men, cut inside and bent it into the far corner with his left foot. He capped an impressive debut for Salford. Hopefully he'll do really well this season for them and continue his development before coming back to the club. And finally, uh, the young Everton side, the under-18s and under-21s, both played against Manchester City Academy teams on Sunday. The under-21s game finished 5-0 to Manchester City. Charlie Whitaker was sent off a half, uh, at the end of the first half with the scoreline 2-0. City ran out 5-0 winners. Uh, the under-18s were also beaten. They were beaten 4-0. A Finch fan. Both have made decent starts of the season as well, but coming up against Manchester City, it was a good weekend for the citizens as they beat both of the Toffees sides comfortably. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.